is 1,400 meters to race. And they're off. And they got away to a nice start. Future turn, first one to break. Intimidator, though, allowed to slide into the lead. Future turn drops into second. Then comes Charlie Croker, who races away in third against the inside. Prometeer in the yellow is midfield. Then we go just over a length away to Global Ally and Bardolino. Two lengths away to Steinbeck, who sees them all from the back of the field as they make their way through the crossover past the 1,000 metres mark. Intimidator is the leader by just over one length of a future turn, who races on his back in second. Then comes Charlie Croker, blue and white colours at the fence in third. Prometeer is fourth and racing three lanes off the leader. Length and a half away to Bardolino, who's cleared Global Ally, and Steinbeck content to bide his time and race at the rear of the field through the final 500 metres they go, and they're about to spin for home. Intimidator being in front from the start, and he guides them into the home straight as the leader by around one length of a future turn in second. Charlie Croker, well placed at the rail in third. Prometeer took the scenic route into the home straight. Bardolino, blue sleeves and cap. Steinbeck, and then comes Global Ally, who's dropped out to the back of the field as future turn goes goes for home and hits the front over Intimidator Prometeer. Charlie Croker, they two lanes away. Bardolino towards the outside. It's future turn in the lead by a length and a half. Charlie Croker is the nearest and possibly only danger with 100 metres left to run. Future turn maintains the lead over Charlie Croker who fights hard, but future turn kept Charlie Croker at bay. Prometeer ran third and Steinpeck was fourth. So future turn arrives to put to Justin Snaith on the board with Richard Furry. Bred at the Draken Steen Stud, well then to Greg Bortz, Etienne Braun, David Musicant, and Gina Goldsmith, the winning owners. Full-time winner from 15 starts. And everything went according to plan for future turn. We'll see off Charlie Croker, who will run second. He's a real model of consistency. Not been out the top three this season. Third goes the way to Prometeer. Then came Steinbeck. They were ahead of Intimidator, Bardolino, and Global Ally. So the winners in the light blue, the Great Bort Silks sat second, broke out well, allowed the stable companion to go to the lead, and then picked up the uh, front roll with about 400 metres left to run. Charlie Croker was teed up and just couldn't get to future turn. He was nursed until the final 120 metres when Richard Ferry asked him for a little bit more, and that little bit more was able to keep Charlie Croker at bay. Race number four is the first leg of the pick six that gets underway at 1.30.